All right, guys. Let's see. I'm having issues not being able to see my screen. I don't know why. So I'm trying to look up on my phone here. So I'm just able to see just a very glimpse of what my living room looks like. So I'm hoping you guys can see me just fine here. Let's see. Perfect. All right. All right, guys. Well, I cannot see how many of you guys are live, unfortunately, because whatever is going on with Facebook Live here. Um, so please, please comment if you do this workout. You don't have to do it right this second, but at least at the end of the workout, um, especially if you're doing this later tonight or another day this week. So again, can't see myself super well. Usually I can at least see the full camera. Um, so this is a core wad today. It is 21 minute ab fix uh, for your lunch time today. There's only a few exercises we're going to get through. We're going to go through three rounds. Uh, we're going to do a nice little warm up to get started. You don't need any equipment at all. Um, and I've provided a lot of modifications. So some of you guys might have seen the wad that we posted um, today on our page. That's what we're going to be going through. So if at the end of this video, you'd rather follow the worksheet, that's fine as well. So let's go ahead and get started again. My name is Kayla, guys, and this is our core wad. So we are going to start off with a nice, gentle warm up. Again, I'm going to try to see myself in the camera. It's very small for me. So what I'd like you to do, we're going to take our hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips, and we are going to start off with some gentle cat cows. So I'd like you to slowly round that spine, checking in that belly button, and then letting that belly button sink, opening up through that neck. So I'm going to have my music on really slow, or really quiet right now. Feel free to have your own music on if you'd like. So again, just a nice slow cat cows here. Focus on that breathing. Let's do one more here. Good. Now from here, I'm going to have you lean back with your heels just a little bit, keeping those arms underneath your shoulders. We're going to take our right hand behind our head. And what I'd like you to do is brace through that core. We're going to slowly rotate that right elbow toward our left elbow. And then slowly rotate up only as far as you feel. Nice little stretch in your chest. But you're not rotating so far that you feel your low back. So we're going to go nice and slow here. I want you to do five reps on your own. Good, and then you're gonna switch sides when you're ready. So over to my left arm. Good, after you finish five on both sides, let's flip over onto our back. We're going to do a couple glute bridges real quick, and then we are going to get started. Um, again, I'm hoping I'm in the screen here. I can't really see myself today. You're going to take those heels underneath your knees, hands flat on the ground. We are going to do 15 glute bridges. When you do your glute bridge, I want you to stop right when you create that beautiful straight line between your shoulders and knees. Squeeze those glutes, set them right back down. Let's go. 15. Exhale as you lift. Once you finish all 15, hug those knees in towards your chest. You're just going to rock back and forth for a few seconds here. And then we're going to roll on up. All right, guys. So hopefully you're able to see me just okay. Uh, we are going to get started here. Oh, thank you, yoga. Perfect. Um, my screen is like this small. That's all I can see on myself. So we're going to get started. Uh, if you guys took a look at the wad, great. If you did not, no worries. I'm going to lead you guys through this. We are doing some new exercises today. 
Um, so I have a lot of modifications. I'm gonna show them to you real quick and then we are gonna get going because it's gonna be 21 minutes nonstop. Now you are gonna have 20 second rest periods, but I promise you if you're doing everything correctly, you're gonna feel it by the end, okay? So very first one are break dancers. On a break dancer, you wanna make sure you have some space here. On the floor, you're gonna have hands on your shoulders. You're gonna be up on your toes. This is the advanced version. You're gonna bring your left leg through and across your body to your right side. And then you're gonna rotate that right arm up to the ceiling. You're gonna set that hand down, left foot comes back, right foot comes through, and you're gonna rotate with the left arm. So for 40 seconds, you are going to be break dancing. Core is gonna be nice and tight. Big thing is to make sure you're not rotating all the way back or you wanna feel secure. So that being said, if you do not feel secure, you can just rotate your arm without bringing your foot through, or you can just step that foot and keep your hands stable on the floor. If you saw my modification, a lot of times you might see me bring it up top to an elevated surface. Same thing, you can use your couch or coffee table, and you're still working that core, but it's gonna be easier on your shoulders and with balance. Then second is a side plank, pretty explanatory. Up under your shoulder, advance. You're gonna be holding up on your feet. Modified, you're on your knees. If you want to challenge yourself, you can add a slight rotation. So a little reach under or hip dips. But I am warning you we're doing hip dips later. Uh, after that, we have a leg raise with a cross body crunch. So how this is gonna work, you're gonna hold both legs up. And whichever leg we're starting with, so right leg, left arm, you're gonna lower one leg, bring it back up, and then the opposite arm is doing a cross body crunch. So you'll stay same leg, same arm for 40 seconds, we'll rest, then we're gonna switch to the other side. That being said, this is hard to hold your legs up. Modified, you're gonna set one heel on the floor so you do not have to hold both legs up. So that's modified and then even more simpler is just a cross body crunch. You can even overlap one leg on top. Uh, then we've got that plank dip I was telling you guys about. So on our forearms here, uh, advance is on our toes. We're gonna drop those hips, but I want you to keep those toes glued to the floor. Modified is on your knees. I know it looks easy, but I promise if you keep your core tight and you keep this going, even on your knees, that's gonna be a good burn. And last but not least, we are gonna finish with that same glute bridge, except we're gonna do 20 seconds of a hold and 20 seconds of a pulse. On that hold, you should be squeezing those glutes, core should be rock hard, and then on those pulses, we're gonna go nice and quick, again, squeezing on those glutes. So we're actually perfectly on time here. I was gonna work again, 40 seconds on, 20 second rest, and we're gonna be pretty ruthless today with all three sets. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna keep doing it. So you're not gonna get like a really long rest after a set. I'm just gonna start right back from the beginning. So if you need longer of a rest, or maybe you only wanna get through two rounds today, completely fine. So make sure you're ready for your modifications, especially on those break dancers. We are gonna get going. Um, I'm gonna have my own music on. Feel free. If you can't hear it very well, you can put your own on. Not a big deal at all. Let me get my timer ready here. Hope you guys are excited. And if you're sore this week like me, okay, make sure to modify. I promise you'll still get a good workout. Let's see. All right, guys. We're gonna get ready with those break dancers. 10 seconds. I'm gonna start on the floor with you guys. Hands on the shoulders. Three, two, one, here we go. You're gonna step that foot through, open up that arm. Modify by moving up to a coffee table or a couch. Halfway there. Halfway. You can always hold an extended arm plank if you need a break. 10 seconds. Woo! Relax. All right, we've got 20 seconds here. So let's make sure we're set up. We are gonna drop our right leg down and then your left elbow is gonna 
to go toward your right knee. Then we'll wrap it and we'll switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. So lower your right leg, lift, and then crunch. If you need to modify, you're setting your left heel on the floor. Your neck relax.
In position, you want to heel right underneath your knees, hip width apart. In three, two, one, here we go. Squeeze those glutes like you're trying to squeeze up knee between them. Nice straight line here. Breathe it out. Get ready to pulse in three, two, and one. Pulse it out. Way there. Nice quick pulses. Keep those abs tight. Ten seconds. Yes. The left. All right, you got 20 seconds. We're starting back from the top with our break dancers. I'm going to elevate mine here. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Woo. Keep that core tight. Seconds. Last. All right, we're going to go in the correct order this time. We're going to go right to our side plank. So we're going to start with the right side plank. If you don't have those crunches just yet. Ten seconds. Three. Let's go. Right side plank. You can make this nice and easy and hold. Remember, you can add that reach under, or if you love hip dips, keep it going. Halfway there.
halfway there. Halfway. Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds, come on. Ten seconds. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. All right, guys, that is two rounds through. We have one final round to hit 21 minutes. We are starting back from the top with our break dancers. Way there. seconds. Halfway there. Ten 
10 seconds. Come on, guys. Don't give up. hands to your right side, left hand comes over your right. And 
and walk it over other side. And walk it back to center. Take your right leg forward. Push that left pelvis forward so you feel nice stretched on your hip flexor. Good. Switch sides when you're ready. Same thing. Make sure you're feeling it right here. And last but not least, bring it down to a seated position. Open up that chest, pull those shoulders down. Let's do a gentle rotation. Left hand comes outside of your right knee. We're gonna just rotate. And right hand outside of our left knee. Again, gentle rotation, don't force anything here. And relax. Thank you guys so much. That was 21 minutes straight of core. I mean, you did get some rest in between. I hope you guys enjoyed the circuit and some change of exercises there. Uh, let us know by either commenting on this video or commenting on the wad post that I made. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday um, and we will have a mobility class posted right after this. Thanks guys.